until you go down and explore, you just don't know. To me, it's just a straightforward wonderland of what Mother Nature can do. We finish exploring the Bremer Canyon for the first time. We've traced all the way from colorful sponge gardens at 200 meters to a range of unusual deep sea life 3,000 meters below. It's very exciting when you start mapping and seeing step by step the landscape that is becoming real. What you are finding here is something that is comparable to the Grand Canyon, even bigger. We have seen things no one has ever seen before. New species and ancient stories are emerging from this two-week expedition. We've actually taken the first high-resolution photography of these particular corals feeding down at the 400 meter water depth. These canyons here then are really exposed to the northwards flowing nutrients and we're trying to learn now how this Southern Ocean climate engine, how it's worked in the past, how it's changing. This is a unique and very fascinating area and it's got a great story to tell. So this is uh, like a very precious uh, samples that we collected here in the Bremer Canyon. It's a unique, it belongs to the genus of Labellum. This coral precipitates a skeleton by adding layers. It's like uh, the rings of a tree. The layers can be used to extract key information of the climate in the past. They're common in the Antarctic and we'd worked on them there. And to find them here means that we can actually use exactly the same species of coral to kind of decipher the climate history. So one of the important things about these stunning corals is that they inhabit such a wide depth range. So these dark organic nodes can tell us about what's happening in the surface waters, the anthropogenic carbon fossil fuel fingerprint as it enters the surface waters of the upper ocean. Whereas the carbonate internodes record the conditions of the ambient seawater at the depth in which the coral grew. What is important for us is also how far the CO2 is dissolved, absorbed in the ocean. In order to understand this, we actually need to know something about water chemistry right now. And this is what we are doing also here. This is one of the few examples of marine litter that we've seen so far. And also, okay, oh, well, you want to be named the actor of the year. I guess you can see how, even though it's a, an alien material that has no business really being there, we can see some life forms are starting to colonize the surface, including this coral here. And it's quite sobering to see that but it is becoming a reality in, in all environments around the world, even very remote and pristine environments such as the Bremer Canyon. Differently from the pollution that we can see in the sea, these archives, these organisms, can provide information of a different type of pollution, which is the anthropogenic CO2. We don't know much about the effects of global warming and ocean acidification on these deep water corals. To me, it's just the staggering diversity of life that's down here that no one would have ever guessed, right? And so now we know they're here, we have to think about and worry about what's going to happen to them in the future. 